For as long as I can remember, I've always loved the sea. It's in our blood. There's not one member of my family who hasn't been a sailor or in a boat. It's true. Even I had fallen into the same family trait, learning to swim before I could walk and sail before I knew the alphabet. In fact, most of my childhood memory is either at sea or on a beach, and before I knew it, I was in love, often being called a fish out of water by my parents. <laughs> it was like I had come home and the sea welcomed me with open arms, like an old lost friend. I was influenced mainly by my parents, mum being an excellent swimmer, while my dad a brilliant sailor, although he doesn't sail as much these days. He's more into his fishing now. I dreamed of one day being a sailor just like dad, but my fascination with technology grew too great, and I now study film in the hope of becoming an editor. But I still miss sailing, swimming, and more importantly, the sea. I start to wonder how it all started, and soon I recall him. My great, great, great grandfather used to sail the world in a pirate boat. But there are no pictures, no old treasure maps leading to a buried fortune. All we know is his name, William Frederick. Rowan, the person who started our family's obsession. When I think back to how my fixation began, I find myself daydreaming of day trips to the beach with Bethan, my best friend. She would play as me while I, the voice inside her head. I don't remember much, only our laughter. Yeah, we love laughing. And our car picnics, obviously. An invention we came up with when the weather was bad. In my dream though, the weather is bright and beautiful. I sit in admiration at the view before us. Him. A repressed memory stalks my every fantasy, appearing only as a hand reaching out to me. Always there, but never seen. I'll never forget the first time I saw the sea. I could do nothing but behold the splendour and awe, until... This was the first beach my parents ever brought me to. I'd paddle for ages, enjoying the view and water at my toes. I hoped I'd never leave. My beach. I found it one day on my way to school. It was like discovering a diamond in the rough. Now though, I feel frantic and afraid as he takes the one thing I can't live without, my sight. Perhaps, perhaps he means to make contact, to finally tell me why he's here. Although, if I'm honest, I already know. I can't show you what actually happened because the memory is still too raw. What I can tell you is that I was swimming when it happened, and that it was quick. Like lightning hitting the earth quick. I disguise him as my mother, washed up on the beach, almost as though he was sleeping. The yellow man. That's what I'd call him. I never found out what happened to him. Was he drunk, or had he just simply got caught in the tide? I'm sorry, yellow man, for what happened to you. While my great-great-great-grandfather taught me to love the sea, the yellow man taught me to respect it. And to him, I say, rest in peace. <laughs>